big thanks to Sony for sponsoring this video. Hi, I'm Gordon from Camera Labs and I've used or reviewed every single Sony lens since they launched their full frame mirrorless system eight years ago. While their latest lenses have been some of the best that I've ever tested, many of the more established or Mark 1 versions remain great options. So when Sony approached me about making a sponsored video, I thought it'd be interesting to pick out a selection of their best lenses that are now on promotion. So while Sony sponsored this video, I chose the actual products and the opinions and all the sample images are my own. You can check out my full reviews of each lens if you'd like more information or comparisons with other models. Now the prices are correct at the time I made this video, but do check out the description for a link to the latest promos. First up, everyone needs a general purpose zoom in their collection, and for me the best value option in Sony's full frame catalogue is the FE 24-105mm f4G. Now I know portrait and event pros will be drawn to 24-70 2.8 models for their shallower depth of field, but you can still blur backgrounds effectively on full frame at f4, and I'd personally sacrifice that stop in aperture for a lens that reaches further, weighs less, and crucially costs almost half the price. At the time I made this video, the FE24-105 could be bought for around $999 with rebates. Here's a selection of other shots I took with it to show its flexibility. For those who demand or simply desire the speed of f2.8 zooms, the ultimate goal is to own what's known as the Holy Trinity, the 16 to 35, 24 to 17, 70 to 200 models, covering a vast range of situations and sporting a constant 2.8 aperture throughout. The great news is Sony's original G Master Trinity can now be snapped up at discounted prices, and as G Master lenses, they have sufficient resolution for the latest high res bodies, including the Alpha 1, Alpha 7R, and Alpha 7.4. I'll start with the FE 16-35 2.8 G Master, which can now be picked up for around $1900 with rebates. This gets you a lens with a classic range that covers you from ultra wide to mild wide angle, which if you're a fan of broad coverage like me can actually prove surprisingly practical as a walk around option for photo, video or vlogging. Meanwhile, the fast 2.8 aperture and decent close-up performance means you can achieve attractive shallow depth of field effects, and as a member of the G Master series, the build quality is excellent. I love using it for close range, extreme sports, expansive landscapes and large interiors. Here's some more shots I took with it. In the middle is the FE 24-70 2.8 G Master, providing a general purpose range and, as I mentioned earlier, a workhorse of events and wedding pros. It's down to $1,799 with rebates. The 24-70 range takes you from wide to short telephoto, which, coupled with the fast and constant 2.8 aperture, makes it ideal for group shots to single portraits. But it's equally good for anyone who simply wants a general purpose zoom with really high quality results and plenty of opportunities for blurring. Here's some more shots I took with it.
and completing the Trinity, a classic telephoto zoom, the 70-200 2.8 G Master. This was one of the first G Master lenses and Sony recently released a Mark II version that's lighter and even sharper, but it's $700 more expensive. The thing is, while the Mark II is an amazing lens, the original Mark I version remains a superb performer that Sony is continuing to sell as a more affordable option, typically at around $2,000. As such, it's a perfect choice for anyone who aspires to the range and aperture but can't stretch to the Mark II, and it's ideal for shooting portraits, events, or close range sports and wildlife too. I'm also partial to using telephotos for detailed urban or natural landscape views, and the sharpness across the frame makes the Mark I version ideal. Here's some more photos I took with it. Next, I've got two prime lenses for you, representing two very different but equally compelling approaches to delivering my favourite focal length of all, 24mm. That's wide enough for drama while minimising distortion. First up, the recent FE 24mm 2.8G, one of three compact, lightweight and affordable lenses launched in early 2021. Now, as much as I love the performance of high-end lenses, I'm also fond of smaller models when you want something more discreet and portable. These three are great for travel or pairing with smaller bodies like the Alpha 7C. The 24 2.8G delivered sharp images in my tests and impressively even squeezes in a focus hold button and declickable aperture ring. It's yours for around 500 bucks with rebates, making it, or indeed the 40 and 50mm versions, very tempting prospects. Here's some more sample images I took with it. My second prime lens recommendation is a modern classic, the 24mm f1.4 G Master. Now here's a lens that's become one of the best performance in its class without being too large or heavy, and it's now even more affordable with rebates at around $1100. When it first came out, I immediately fell for its charms with sharp results near and far, and the chance to shoot with the aperture wide open for attractive rendering. And that two stop faster aperture over the previous model is a key benefit but you're also getting G Master build, focusing and accessories. So if you love the 24mm focal length as much as I do, you'll adore this lens. Here's some more samples of how I used it.
So while these may not be the latest lenses, they remain excellent performance and better value than ever thanks to rebates and promotions. Speaking of which, head on over to alphauniverse.com forward slash promos to find out the latest deals available and I've given you a direct link in the description. Let me know which are your favourite models in the comments. Thanks again to Cerny for sponsoring this video and as always thanks to you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.